Hi, welcome to a new Acumba Mail tutorial, I'm Alicia and today we're going to see how to create an online survey in three steps, first of all, remember to follow our channel so you don't miss any tutorial. To start, go to the survey section in the left menu and click on new survey dot, enter a name that identifies it and click on create. In step 1, settings design, you will configure the general aspects of the survey, title and description which will be displayed on the first page of the survey, thank you message, which will be displayed at the end of the survey, image, which will be displayed on both the welcome page and the thank you page. This image can be for example, the company logo or an image related to the survey. Next, configure the style settings, font, button colors, font size and color for the different texts in the survey, the title, the description, the thank you message, and the questions, the hidden fields are an optional step and are used to pass additional parameters to the survey URL. Hidden fields are often used for two purposes, to personalize the text of your surveys, to categorize or group the answers. In the description of this video, you will find a link to a support article with more information about the use of hidden fields. If you would like us to do a tutorial on this topic, let us know in the comments. Now let's look at the right side of the screen, where you will find a non-editable preview area. There you can see how the survey will look with the styles you select. Click on each of the menu tabs to see some of the question types with the style applied, the welcome page or the final thank you page. Once you have selected all the styles, click next to continue with the next step. Step 2. Questions. In this step, you will be able to add all the questions that make up your survey. To do this, click Add Question each time you want to add a new question. When creating a question, you will be able to select from several types of questions, short text, question with an open-ended answer, long text, long open-ended question, statement type question, allows you to include an introductory or explanatory text between questions. Single answer, question with one or more answer options where the user can only select one, multiple choice, where the user can select one or more, scoring question, where the user can rate on a scale of 5, 7, or 10 points, specific data questions, such as email, telephone, date or number. Once you have chosen the type of question, turn on the switch if you want to make it mandatory. In this way, the user will not be able to progress if they do not answer the question. Then, in the preview area on the right, you can edit the question texts. If you wish, you can change the order of the questions in a very intuitive way, by dragging and dropping them on the list. You also have the option to duplicate or delete questions by clicking on the three dots next to the question. At any time, you can open a preview of the entire survey by clicking on the Open Preview button. Finally, let's go to step 3, share, when you move from step 2 to step 3. If the survey has at least one question, it will be marked as active automatically. When you are no longer interested in receiving more responses, you can mark it as inactive in the general survey list. You have three ways to share your survey. The first is to share the unique URL generated for your survey which will be shown in step 3. You can also access the URL of the survey from the general survey list. Click on the Actions button and a drop-down menu will open where you have to choose the Share option. This will copy the survey URL to the clipboard. The second way to share your survey is to embed it in a landing page. This will allow you to customize the page where you display the survey. To do this, just go to the Content section in the editor and drag the survey element into your design. Click on Add Survey and a pop-up will appear where all your active surveys will be displayed. Select the survey and you will see the front page or welcome page of the survey. Once the survey is included in a landing page, if you later modify the survey, the changes will be reflected automatically. The third way to share your survey is via email. Surveys that start with a single answer, multiple choice or rating question can be embedded in any of your email templates. To do this, simply go to the content section of the editor and drag the survey element into your email design. Click on Add Survey and a pop-up will appear where all your active surveys that meet the above condition will be displayed. How does the survey behave within the email? 
Only the first question will appear in the email and, when the user clicks on one of the answer options, the survey will open in a new tab with the answer already selected. This way, the respondent will be able to continue completing the survey comfortably. And that's all you need to know to create your first online survey with Acumba Mail. If you liked this tutorial, don't forget to like it and follow our channel so you don't miss the next ones.